We do this every year. And it's been working. Here we go again. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk, right back. Like I never left, what's good with y'all, man? Listen, today I want to talk about something that we do every year. But before we get to that, man, I just got to say thank y'all. Y'all been running them numbers up, literally like over 100 subscribers in the last day. Appreciate the love, all the new subscribers, all the new shares, likes, everything. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. You want to join the team? It's that simple. Just hit the subscribe button. You're part of the cartel. Listen, every year we do this thing. At least the last two, three years. Every year we go to this USFL, XFL well. And it's been paying dividends, man. You see the thumbnail. You see I got Cavante Turpin on there. All pro, pro bowler. Kevontae Turpin. Now, a lot of you going to say, well, he only made that as a punt returner and a kick returner. And that's fine. But he made it. And that means when we went to the well and we needed a return man and, and, a, and a gadget guy and somebody that can, you know, do some speed option stuff and, and maybe stretch the field at some point and just do little small things, mostly special teams, Kevontae Turpin has been amazing at his job, hence why he got those accolades. In 2023, that was in 2022. In 2023, we went and got Brandon Aubrey. Remember, we had all kinds of kicking issues. All kinds of, we had Kai Forbath and and, 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 and and the other guy that we let go that, that went crazy in the playoffs. I don't know why his mind, his name is escaping me. Y'all let me know in the, in the um in the comments, the kicker that just went crazy and just couldn't hit nothing in the playoffs drove me crazy. But long story short, we went out there, we got Brandon Aubrey. And we brought Brandon Aubrey and he wasn't even that nice in practice. I was like, oh, they waited too long. They didn't put no resources behind this thing. And our scouts proved me wrong once again. Brandon Aubrey comes in. Pro bowler. Literally probably the best kicker in the NFL last year. That's crazy. Going to the UFL, the UFL now, USFL at the time, and getting two Pro Bowl and all pro caliber players back to back. Enter this year. Cowboys are working out, once again, going back to the well, doing the same thing we've been doing. And and let me just say this before I get into the players. Um, so I'm not necessarily mad at it. I just gotta say my piece. You can't keep expecting to find diamonds in the rough every year. I want to believe it. And maybe our scouts are just that good. And maybe they're going to make other teams say, you know what, maybe we should do what the Cowboys are doing because they keep coming up, um, you know what I'm saying, all sevens. When when you should be crapping out. When free agency happens, we chilling. You know what I'm saying? When it's time for trading and stuff, we chilling. Signing, signing um, our players back, we was chilling. But now in undrafted free agency – and then signing players from the UFL, we get real active. We outside. Like, I just, we can't keep scraping the bottom of the barrel and hoping to get, like, gold. We have to start participating in other parts of team building. Or it's going to come back to bite us eventually. It has bitten us. I don't want it to bite us too crazy, too exponentially crazy. We need to start doing more in other facets of team building. That's just my two cents. But I'm not going to hate on these players quite yet because maybe they did it again. Maybe the Cowboys have did it again. We brought in, um, what is it, three UFL players. Um, no, four. Cornerback Garen Conley. Um, cornerback DeAndre Baker. Linebacker Noah Dawkins. Linebacker Willie Harvey. Conley, 2017, was drafted in the first round. Baker, 2019, was drafted in the Giants in the first round. Um, now, that don't mean that they're going to come in and be first-round caliber talent. They're just working them out. I do think we need some corner depth. <clears throat> go get Stephon Gilmore. I'm going to say that every day. Just go do it. Stop playing with it. Stop trying to be cheap. You have to spend some money at some point. We got like $9, 10000000 million. Go get Gilly. Gilly. You can get Gilly. Um, stop waiting it out. Stop playing. 
But they're working out other corners to see what they're doing. And, and linebacker room, they're not quite, they're not quite sure. Like I said, I feel like the only two linebackers that are safe is Eric Kendricks, right? And um, Marius Luafau. And Overshone. I feel like Overshone is safe. After that, it gets dark. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to um, Damone Clark. I want Damone Clark to make it. But some of these players might come in and challenge and make it real hard for him. Enter Willie Harvey, who is the, probably the best player we've bought in. I know the other guys were first-round picks. But right now, his pedigree right now is probably better. He led all players in the UFL in tackles. Um, he um, had 21 tackles for loss. Um, and he led in passes, defense, and forced fumbles from the linebacker position. Now you'll say, he's playing in the UFL. What you expect? Listen, I'm just glad he's keeping his skills sharp. He's 28. I'm not saying that he Ray Lewis. He not Roquan Smith. <laughs> like, I ain't crazy. I'm saying that can he can he come in and be a quality depth piece? Would he have started over our linebackers last year? Probably. Probably. He probably would have came in and been better than all of our linebackers last year. And that's all I'm worried about. That's all I'm worried about. I, I, I'm not here to sell y'all any hoop dreams. I feel like we got our starting linebackers. Seriously. Kendricks, middle, the mic, green dot, that's fine. That's simple. Then we got Overshone playing weak side linebacker. They've already said this too. Um, and then we got Damone Clark playing strong side. And then you got Maris Lewifile that have played all three positions in OTAs and rookie minicamp. And he's being trained up to probably be our Mike of the future. Right? And then we got some other young linebackers on the team that, um, you know, maybe some UDFAs and things like that. And we'll see where they fall in the case. Because remember, Marquise Bell moved back to safety. So... The linebacker room is not solidified. We about three solidified deep. And then after that, it just gets like, um, so what you going to do? Um, and I want to see. I want to see. I want to see if Willie Harvey can come in and make some things shake, make some players look over their shoulder. I like the competition aspect. I don't want nobody to feel completely comfortable um, outside of a couple players in this team. They shouldn't. If, if, if the media wants to make us feel like Dak Prescott has to look over his shoulder for Trey Lance, then nobody should feel safe. Probably C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons. But outside of that, <laughs> nobody should feel safe. I just would love to know how y'all feel in the comments, man. Because, listen, the Cowboys are going to continue to do this until it works. I mean, until it stops working. I don't never want it to stop working because that means that we're going to have a, a, a complete talent drop-off. So I'm really hoping that they did find another diamond in the rough. All four diamonds? No, I ain't crazy. But Harvey looks like he might have some promise, especially just playing downhill, run-stopping linebacker, where he might lack in speed and size, because I think he's like 5'11". He can make up for it in instinct. Instinct. If he got great linebacker instincts, he's already above a lot of our linebackers. I feel like LVE last year, his problem with linebacker is not only because of the neck issues, he ain't want to really get up in there. He wanted to play physical, but he was scared to, I feel like. And the next still came back and got him. I feel like our linebacker instincts was bad. F shooting the wrong gaps. Not scraping through traffic well. Not tackling well. Like, the basics of it. Before you get to coverage and, and be, just being nimble and, and different things like that, you have to be able to do the basics. Can you tackle? If you see the ball carrier running between A and B gap, are you going to choose properly? Can you shed a block? Can you take on a block? Eat a block up, hold your ground, and still make the tackle. Things like that that we just haven't had. Our physicality in the linebacker room has been bad. But even all this being said, man, we still got two glaring holes on the roster, and I'm still just, what are y'all doing? We need defensive tackles, and I think we need another running back. Like, no question. But maybe I'll do a live tomorrow and talk about that. Y'all let me know in the, the, the last in the comments. You want a live tomorrow? Because we can go live. We can talk about this stuff tomorrow. But look, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. We're bringing in players, looking for diamonds in the rough. We do this every year. We've been hitting the last couple years. Maybe we can hit again. I'll holler.